Hey guys, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today we're going to be installing a Linux-based operating system called Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is, like it says in this little uh, quote right here, Ubuntu is a fast, secure, and easy-to-use operating system, and it's used by millions of people around the world. And it's open source, if I haven't said it before, and basically open source is based off of three principles. The first one is you use it, the second one is you improve it, and then lastly, you pass it on, which basically means you use the operating system, you work on it, improve it to make it better, and then once you make a stable version or it's all compiled into a stable version, it'll be released onto the website. And so 11.04 is the latest and stable version of Ubuntu. So if you haven't already, go to Ubuntu.com to download it. Click Get Ubuntu. Click Download and Install. And then choose the operating system. If you have more, more than 4 gigs of RAM in your computer, select 64-bit. If not, choose 32-bit as it is recommended. Start the download, and once you're done downloading, the second step is to burn it onto a CD and or create a USB drive that is compatible with your computer. So, what we're going to do is open a program like Image Burn, <clears throat> and then we're going to click Write Image File to Disk, browse for the image, and find the Ubuntu image. Click Open, put a disk into our computer, and click Burn. Once it's done, you'll be able to put it into your CD drive, restart your computer, and then we get to the next screen, which is basically restarting and starting up the um, Ubuntu installation. So we're just going to wait. And uh, once we get to the, for the startup window where it says Ubuntu 11.04 with the loading bar, um, I'll explain the rest once we get there. Alright, so we've gotten to the Ubuntu 11.04. Um, startup window basically is reading all our files. If you want to see what it's actually doing, click Escape, and you'll be able to see exactly what it's doing. So now it's stopping my CPU and doing things like that, checking all my files and my drivers to make sure that they're compatible with the operating system before anything actually begins. And so now it's starting my, my network service and different things like that. So once we get to the blurry background with the pink on it, um, we'll be actually be able to um, start the actual installation. So I'll get back to you once, that, once we get there. Okay, so now we're at the welcome window, and this is basically where you install it. And as you can see, we're going to select English because I speak English. And now you have two options. You can try Ubuntu as well as install Ubuntu. Now, trying Ubuntu, basically, it's, it comes onto the disk, so once you click the button, you'll be able to try the operating system before you actually uh, you know, install it onto your computer, which is really, really handy if you don't know what it is and you want to get used to it. So, once you are, you know, satisfied with the actual operating system, click install and you'll be on your way. So now you're at the point where it says prepare to install Ubuntu and you have to have at least 4 gigabyte, 4.4 gigabytes of space. Make sure it's plugged into a power source and also it's connected to the internet. Now you have two choices to download updates while installing and install the third-party software so we're just going to check those boxes off and then we're going to click forward alright so now it says allocate drive space which means you know check your drive space and so we're going to click erase disk and install Ubuntu you can also click something else if you want to partition your hard drive but since this is an empty hard drive we're not going to do that and um, by now you should already know how to partition your hard drive so click forward Alright, so make sure you select the right drive. Um, the entire disk will be used, uh, which means that um, the hard drive will be wiped and clean installation will begin. So click install. And now it's going to begin installing the actual operating system to your computer. And now we're at the Where Are You window where you'll be able to choose your time zone. We're going to click Los Angeles and it seems to be right basically make sure you cl click your time zone it comes with I guess it finds it through my IP so it tells me that my network says I live I live in Los Angeles so we can move forward and the next window is keyboard layout so it's important to use the right keyboard layout for your com for your computer so let's say you're in China and stuff like that and you're using USA it won't recognize the type font so make sure you use the right one click forward Okay, so now you're at the Who Are You window. Please click put your name in, your computer name, your username, and your password, and then just click forward. 
Okay, so now you're on the Welcome to Ubuntu 11.04 window, and from here on out, it's the same. It's just going to be installing onto your computer. There's no more uh, windows where you have to have your own user input. So just let this install, and once we get to the end, we'll get back to this. Okay, so it looks like it just about finished. As you can see, installation is complete, and now you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So that basically means that you're done. That that took a while, but you know it's very rewarding. Um, it took me another half an hour just to finish the rest of the installation. And you know, again, I said you have to have a lot of patience in order to install an operating system like Ubuntu. But it is very rewarding as it does come with a lot of features and tons of applications that you can use. But as you can see, here's the UI, the interface, and all the stuff you can do. It, look, it looks like Mac OS X, but I guess that's about it. Well, I hope you enjoy uh, using Ubuntu. Um, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. This is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching. Now you know how to install Ubuntu onto your computer.